Welcome back guys. So it's been a few days since I recorded last and uh, quite a few things have happened since then. Um, let's start with the pretty exciting one for me and it is that I've gotten my first uh, Patreon subscriber and that's Alex. Um, I'm extremely honored to have someone uh, on Patreon. I never thought that was going to happen <laughs> to be honest. But, um, yeah, that's uh, extremely nice. Uh, hopefully that means that at least somebody likes my, my content. And hopefully you guys uh, like it as well. And uh, this helps uh, me support what I'm doing. So that's, uh, that's very exciting. The next thing that's happened is that uh, it's been four or five days since I recorded last. And uh, there's been quite a few updates to Factorio. And that is uh, starting to break some of my mods here and there. So um, I had a plan for this episode, but um, that's going to change a bit since uh, one of the mods that's uh, starting to get affected is Robot World. And uh, I'm guessing in a few weeks, maybe s earlier than that, um, they'll stop working and go back to the normal slow robots. So I'm going to spend this episode um, upgrading our robots while a little factory just chucks along and uh, I think that's gonna be good. So let's set up some robot production and some upgrading. I think that's gonna be, uh, be quite cool. So first things first. Robots outside of robot world is a different kind of story to produce. If we go in here and check you can see we have normal robots, then we have the next one, next one, next one, and next one, and they all kind of need, what's it called? The one before it. So let's start to craft some of these just to see what the, what we have at the moment. I'm going to show you a good way to get the robots out of the network and upgrade it in just a little while. But first things first, robot Flying robot frames. Flying robot frames, you only have Mark 1. We need to get the Mark 2 ones. So let's see how do we craft that. We have the normal flying robot frame. The Mark 2s should be easy enough to produce. So let's try and put down or copy this one and do a small upgrade and just do it all right here upgrade it all to that and let's see if we can't use this as a template for the rest of the things. Also my achievements got reset again. <laughs> so let's start with the the robot frames mark 2. I think they're down here. Let's see mark 2. Craft some of those have all the resources we need. So that shouldn't be that take that long. And we can do productivity modules. Let's request some of the better ones. Just give me 30 of those. And let's go down to 10 of these. Since I think I'm producing quite a few what's it called? Here we go and there we go. That should solve most of these. Let's go for the next one. Change that one out. Place it with some uh, robots. And let's do the Mark Free flying robot frames, if we can even do that. Let's see. We're probably going to miss the batteries that we were working on a few episodes back. But that should be fine. Let's do just the last one while we are at it. I can't remember if we have any one further down than four, but we will find out. But we can craft the Mark Force, but we can't go up on t into the next ones before we have the Mark Three because we can't skip any. So that is perfect. Um, yeah, that was all the robot frames sorted except the third one. So let's just sort out our batteries 
as the first thing. We have it right here, missing lithium thingamajigs. And let's say, see, this battery. To get this, we need lithium, lithium chloride with the water. I think that's some thermal water. So let's go down and set that up. We have quite a bit of thermal water. Oh, not quite a bit. We have some thermal water being produced. And then we just need a hydro plant. Do we have we have thermal water here, so we can just do a cell somewhere in our base. So let's start by setting up that. We shouldn't have it already. Uh, nope, we don't have it yet. So let's just go down and set that up very quick. Let's say right here. We need an input. Let's just do it like. Let's do right here. Let's see the hydro plants. Do we have any on us? That's electrolyzer. Don't think we have any hydro plants on us. Let's just get that. Hydro plants. We can always upgrade it if needed. Come on, little hydro plants. There we go. And let's just place them like this just to check it out for now. What we need is this production. And two out, so we might place this somewhere else. Let's see. Ooh, let's do a copy it over here instead. Like right here to get it in a bit. Get our hydro plants right here. Let's try them free for now. Span that down. Give it some pipes. So we can see the input, and over here we can do one, two, one, one, two, one, one. And that is good. Then we need what's it called? Two outputs or two out barrels. And that should be fine right up here. So if we do one out just like this, what should work? And can we do one just like that? That might actually be better than what we've done before. We'll try, just like this. Might need to throw in a clarifier here and there. But how much we're using quite a bit of purified water. But we have quite a lot in the system as well. So let's just try. I'm debating if I should put in an active provider right here for the purified water. I think I'm going to do that because the rest of it up here is locked in. Uh, yeah, and it can't put no, that's water in. These are locked in stuff like this. So let's try with an active provider. Let's see. Purified water. Fill that. Get the up here. Let's see. Fill that and get some thermal water in. Let's try this right there. Just request all it can. Get some power down. Do it right here. Perfect. And let's see if this doesn't work now. I can't take any modules other than raw speed at some point, but at least now we have the water being produced. Let's just give it a let's yeah, let's give it a whole stack so we have a small amount of buffering. So 
that is working perfectly. We're getting purified water out, and we're getting the water. So let's just mark that on the map. Lithium water, just like this. And then we can go over here and do the next production chain. So, cobalt we should have for the cobalt oxide. Lithium chloride, that's just the water. So we can probably do both. In how much is this used for? It's used for only this, and that is used for the battery. So pretty much this makes both of the things we need, and it's only these two. How about that? How much is that used for? Well, that's not that much, so only for this. So we need chemical furnace and an input. Let's see, in, let's just do right here as a test. Get some chemical furnaces. Set that. Uh, wonder if we have any in R. If we have any of those. We do, just give me a few of those. Come on, little robots. Perfect. And then we can do input, input. Seems it's going to make most of it just like that. Put in a passive provider here and here. Can you put in? Nope. Oh, this needs fuel. That's probably a bad thing to do with this then. Or we can just request some fuel. Let's just request some fuel. And do the old uh, setup for this. Spending some more coal with it to go there. Getting some pipes in. Here to here. Getting in some. Out, 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 out. There we go. Request some just pretty much coal. Yep. Let's give us fifty of that. Here and here and then put down a few power poles to support this. Get in the... What was it called? Completely forget lift. Out and request some of that right there. Give it some power and hopefully that's gonna work. I'll take that as a yes. at a very, very nice speed. So now we have that. We have the rest, we have this. Pretty much just make it in electrolyzer. Might just do that right next to this or in the base since it's such a small production. So let's just... Oh. Remember to limit this a small amount, will be good. Or we can do it all in this cell, but I don't. That might actually be good, since how much is this used for? That is used for accumulators, laser turrets. I might need it for. It's not that much, to be honest. So I might just do it in the same cell. Let's try doing it over here. The next part of this with the electrolyzers. Let's see what we have some electrolyzers. Do we have any in our system? No. So let's just go up and set it up fast. Just mark this with 
Isn't that what it's called as well? And let's set up some electrolyzers so we uh, so we can start to produce that. That would be very, very good. Let's see, going back to the base right here. Uh, electrolysis just over here. Put down those. Oh. There we go and say electrolysis. Let's just do the Mark 1 and hopefully that will be fine for now. It's missing stone pipe. Seems we haven't done that one before. Luckily that is quite easy to do. Let's just do it right. Yeah, in, oh, in our military area. Let's see stone pipe. You can request that please. Hopefully that's going to deliver all we need for the electrolysis. Now they're working, we're getting some. How important is it to get the extra ones? Ooh, they're quite expensive. Let's just keep it at this for now. Just going to grab a few. And let's go down south again. So, right here. I thought they were working, but they shouldn't be. So, right next to this, we can do our electrolysis. Let's see how much do they need. They need the purified water, and this one it just needs the input. This one we can make up in the base, or just down here. Lithium. Let's do a copy of this one. Free. Do our little ads. Pretty much just put down that one. And upgrade. Like to make this. Did I put it in the right split place? Pretty much did. So let's just leave it here for now. Power poles are in. Oh, that's working. And you can request that. A bit more than six might be good. Well, six might actually just be perfect. Let's just keep it at that for now. These are coming out, going in here. Let's just uh, see, can we put in Productivity modules. We can. Let's just give it a few. I should probably do more than that, but yeah, let's just expand this two times to give us some production. That gives us the lithium. Now we just need that together with the cobalt. Do we have that in our system? Do, so that is extremely easy to do. I'm just gonna shift this over a bit. Um, you can go right there. Then we will do the next production right next to this. And that is this one. That is in a chemical furnace again. So if we do this setup just without I'll pretty much copy that one. Switch it around a bit. Let's try it right there. Nope, not like that. I'd like to do it like that for some reason. Let's try this. Move that to keep it a bit consistent. Change that to right here. 
request this. Give it some power. Give it some some coal. Then everything is golden. So let's oh not that. What I was looking for is this. Let's see that's this. Now we have the cobalt being produced. That's good. Then we just need the last thing and that is here. And that is just lithium chloride with purified water in an electrolyzer. So let's do that right over here. Pretty much the same setup. Like this and make this for me please. We just need a bit of purified water in, and that's of course more robots as always, because they are the dream. Then we will do pretty much this setup, right here and here. Of course, remember to change those two and change this back again to that one. Oh, there's an output. Did not think about that. Um, let's just move this over a small amount then. Because we have some hydrogen we need to get rid of. Get that away. Change like this instead. Change you to that. Get the hydrogen out. So pretty much just copy this one over here. Just take the hydrogen to the south. I think that will work. Just do that. That. Get the water in right here. More pipe. Give these some um, productivity modules. Say pure if I want out and request some, but not that many. Let's see if this is gonna work. Need two requests, of course. Request here and here. Then we will connect up this to an out. We can do that at the bottom of this area just to give it some room. Let's see, just right here. Let's do a copy paste of this. Right there. I can't see any problems with that. There, put in a pipe, a pipe, pipe. Give me some iron underground pipes we're using before, since uh, I don't want to run out. And then we say hydrogen. Hydrogen. Fill that. And of course, we always put in a flare stack in case this doesn't work. That is just a good building. There. This is working. Getting in. Just needs a bit of power. Right 
Good. That is all we need for our robots, I think. Or for our batteries. Let's just look if they're being produced in base now. That is something that's working. So let's go and see if we can put in any productivity modules on that. Since uh, that's the name of the game right now. Let's just go up and check. Do you take productivity modules? You do. That means we should just give you a small overhaul. And some more productivity modules here and there. Good, that means our robot frames are being produced. That was extremely fast. That's probably being used for somewhere else, but that is good. We now have some of our robots sorted and the space simply is chucking along nicely. Let's just see what our science is needing while we're doing this. They are missing purple science, so let's just do a small upgrade on that or check what they're missing since there's no reason we're wasting time if we can help it out. Let's just upgrade these just for the future. These are still fine. Let's just check if we have any still producing in the base. Oh, we have some science there. Those are not needed anymore. But this is trying to keep up. These are getting things thrown, flown in, so that is perfect. Cost never producing more. Don't have uh, don't have any on that, and that's probably fine. We just keep a stack more than uh, we need, since we need so much science anyway. So that is perfect. But what is this missing? It seems it's missing a lot of things. We need to uh, expand. So let's just give it a helping hand. Let's see. Can we just copy paste this and do a small check here? If we're so lucky, we can do it. productivity modules in. Um, what we needed was chemical. Chemical plants right there. That doesn't take in those but it can do this. Let's request some of that. And let's do two of these and remove the other two. We remove the one we have that's probably not working anymore. Or do raw speed modules at some point. We have this one that's just way too slow. Away with you. This one is easily keeping up, but as always, a small upgrade is always good. Oh, didn't mean to upgrade that, but that's fine. Do you take productivity? Of course you don't, because that's the way the game works. So let's just check on our science. Everything is full except the purple, and that is starting to work faster and faster. So let's just keep that running while we work on our robots. So frames done. Let's get some of these poles out the way. It's just kind of annoying us now. Get your way. Don't need you, and you, and you. You. So, what is the next things we need for robots? Let's see. Now we just need the brain and the whatnot. We can do that right next to this. So that means we need the logistic brains and what's not. Let's start with those we need four. We pretty much need four. Let's see if we do one, two, that's not enough room. But let's start with the construction ones first. One, two. 
might change this one to logistic brain. It seems that can take productivity modules. That's exactly what I want to see. Of course, not one one. That's not what I wanted. I want it this one instead. Let's just remove that, that, and say one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then we'll do logistic there, do logistic two, logistic three, and logistic four. Was getting all our things delivered. Let's do it at the low end first, or oh, high end. There we go. And then over here we need the brain. Brain, 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 and brain, brain. Is that all we need for logistic robots? Let's just check it out before we end this episode. Here we have the brain. This just needs a portable fusion reactor. But it seems that's all we need. So let's just activate all these. Yeah. Here and there. Go over here. I can feel this is going to be a bit longer episode than normally. So that means all our brains are getting made. All the way down. Now we just need to make our robots up to Mark 4. Why is Mark 5 better? That's the fusion part, Mark 4. But let's just make that. Why aren't you being crafted? You're probably missing ceramic bearings. But yeah, that's going to be next episode. Um, again, thank you so much for watching. And thank you to my Patreon subscribers, uh, Alex, and whoever wants to join. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And uh, then I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.